hello friends welcome back to a new video guys how are you all doing today hope you're all doing great and i hope you are generally fine guys today i'll be showing you how to make this a maxi kimono top guys this is a very um very easy one here and a very stylish um outfit you can rock yes guys so if you want to see how i did this then just stick around with me okay to the end as we go through this together super easy guys you won't believe it yes so um here i'm going to be making use of um my print here i've gone ahead to lay it all on the table so i folded this um into four because i'll be going to be cutting out um for both of um the front and the back piece together so you can see i folded it along the width of 45 inches right because african print comes by 45 so folding it into two here means i have um 22.5 okay yeah so i'm also along the length so i'm using a length of 36 inches now this depends on what you want right yeah you can make yours longer or even shorter depends on what you want here yeah so i'm using 36 inches and this is inclusive of um my hemming allowance you know at the top part and also um at the lowest point um of the top so i'm just intentionally making this um fold in the longer length first because i want to have um you know the excesses i'll be trimming out i want it to be in a longer length so i can use it for my you know strip afterwards so as we go along you understand so here i'm first thing i'm doing now is marking out my slope of 1.5 inches then my three inches at this um you know edge point there so i'm going ahead what to you know connect these two points together so here i have uh, my slope you can see these guys yeah so that's the first thing i'm doing then the next thing now is to indicate my sleeve opening okay yeah so from that um um slow points there i'm going to indicate a sleeve opening i'm going to be using 12 inches okay so this also depends on how open you want yours to be so i'm using 12 inches so it's actually going to be 11 afterward because i will use half of an inch to sew it um at the top and also you know along the armhole side so that point of my chest um sleeve opening i'm using that as my chest line so you can see me indicating the lines there now then the next line is going to be um my the waistline okay so from the top i'm marking out a waistline of 17 and also the hip line of 24 so those are just the three lines here um the chest line the waistline and also uh, the hip line so the thing is i'm actually not going to be making use of my bust and the waist measurements i want to use just one measurement which is the biggest part of the measurement here and that's the hip of 44 divided by four i'm going to have an 11 then i'll be adding extra five inches yes i said five inches inches of allowance so this is what is going to make it maxi so this also depends on what you want if you want yours to be lesser you can do that yeah so i want mine to be five inches so i'm just going ahead to what mark out what 60 inches in total that's from the chest line um to the waistline all the way to the hip and the length of the top here okay yeah so you can see on that chest line i'm just creating a bit of um armhole curve there guys that's it so there's nothing um extra here at all okay you can see this yeah so the next thing i'm going to do now um is to fix him um, my neck um, measurement so i'm using a neck width of three inches here then a neck depth of one inches okay neck width of three inches and the neck depth of what one inches okay so this is for the back right so after cutting out the back neckline then i'll go ahead and cut out for the front piece guys this is it guys <laughs> there's nothing extra here i'm just going ahead to cut this out so like i said um you can decide to fix in your um bust and waist measurements if you want okay but um just use it by hip measurement all through is okay for me this is a maxi kimono here yeah so the next thing now taking off my back measurement i'm going ahead to fix for the neck depth of the front so i'm using eight inches so you can see me placing it one inches on that neckline because we've already cut out one inches right yeah so this is just eight inches in depth so you can see me making a v-shape towards the neck width of three inches you can see that yeah so that's what i'm going to do then the remaining side there i'll be slitting it open okay having in mind that the front piece is going to be slitted open right yeah but if you want yours you can take away one inches you know as if you're trying to you know mark out um, a button allowance you can take off one inches if you want okay but i want mine to be really um 
overlapped okay so that's why i'm just slitting it open directly you can see these guys this is as easy as it is so there's nothing extra here at all like we are practically done with the drafting of this and cutting you can see these guys the front and the back piece yes guys so what i'm going to do next now is to you know fix the pocket so i'm just going ahead to mark out the length where i would like my pocket to be from the shoulder just mark about 18 to 22 inches it's okay yet for the shoulder then from that center point i'm marking out about 2.5 inches okay so this is just the point where the pocket is going to be sitting okay yeah so you can just you know fix it and see if it is you want your pocket to sit there whatever it is that is okay for you but i think i'm going to be using 22 inches that's where i'll be using to uh, where uh, my pocket is going to start from so 22 inches from my shoulder to um you know um 22 inches here yeah. so here is a piece of fabric of 11 by 11 this is what i'm just going to use for my pocket so 11 by 11 this makes it um, a square right yeah so what i will do now is to make a fold okay i'm just going to make um, a fold on all sides before attaching it so when you do this is how it's going to be sitting you can see these guys okay yeah but the first thing is to go ahead and fold my um, pocket i'm going to be folding it half inches on three sides remember this is four sides right so i'm folding you can go ahead and weave all the edges to lock up the edges first then i'll sew half of an inches on three sides you can see i'm using my pin to demonstrate this now while um on one side i will be folding in one inches take note of what i'm saying half inches fold on three sides one two three then only one side you will fold with what one inches or even 1.5 so that's one you have you folded more which is the one inches right that's the part that is going to be what the sleeve opening i mean the pocket opening okay yes so you can see after hemming the three sides okay and um this is how it's going to look you can see me using my pin to demonstrate you can also use your iron and hemming gum if you want a very neat fold okay yeah so i'm just demonstrating this now so you sew up the three sides then you have it looking this way before placing it what at that point where you have marked up like i said from your shoulder point you can place it at 18 inches or 20 to 22 inches depending on where it's okay for you then you will sew um the size so you're going to be stitching a very tiny stitch on one two three sides so just one part there will be what for the pocket opening okay yes guys so after that i'll go ahead now and join my um back to the front then i'll go ahead and join the shoulders okay i'll use about half of an inch to do that so once i'm done joining the shoulder like i demonstrated now with my pin then the next thing i'll do now is to make a fold on that my sleeve part there so i'll just make a half inches fold then again a one inches fold okay so i'll be doing this for the two sleeve yes guys so this is just what i'm going to do right now I'll go ahead and fix the pocket join the shoulder and also the sleeve and here guys i'm done fixing the pocket you can see these guys i have my pocket sitting pretty then also i've joined the shoulders you can see this and you can see the hem of the sleeve here i finished that as well locked up the edges to clean up rough edges and awful so you can see how um this is looking already yes guys yes so um the next thing now will be what to fixing um my collar okay so um i'm going to be measuring what i have from the one end of my um, front piece to the other end okay so i'm going to use my tape now you can see what i'm doing measuring it from one end all the way running through the collar there um the neckline there all the way what to the other end you can see i'm moving my tape it ended at 60 then i continued again i stopped at about 19.5 that's which makes it 79.5 right approximately 80 but advisable don't just cut 80 you have a, a much as even 85 you can always trim out the excesses right yeah so i'm going to be having a long strip now i'll be using for my collar or band yeah and so this is um a long strip here i had to do some joining okay yeah to make up this length so i have two pieces joined together 
you don't, you, the joining is going to be equal length joining. Please take note of that. So which means I have like um, 40 on one side and 40 on the other side. I'm joining it together. And this is a width of 5 inches. By the time I make a fold, it becomes what? 2.5, right? So I'll be sewing with half of an inch, which makes it what? At the end of the day, my collar will be what? 2 inches in width. So if you want your color to be um, about 1.5, then you know you'll be cutting out 4 inches, right? Yeah. So what I'm going to do now is to sew from my center point. So in order to do that, I have to fold my neckline to 2, making sure that what those shoulder joining are matching. Okay, you can see me making sure that the shoulder joining is matching each other. Then I'm notching the center of the neckline. There you can see this. Just go ahead and chalk it down. I'm just doing that for both the front and the back piece so it's very visible when I'm sewing. Yes, guys. So after that now, I can now fold my collar into two. Now, here is the thing. Now, you can see that joining. The very, very important, take note of this. You're going to be making your joining of that, your, um, your strip, your collar piece. You make sure that it is aligning with the center of that neckline. Very, very important, okay? Yes, guys, that's the best way to make your collar to align. Even though you have a very long piece that you don't have any joining, please, it's advisable you start from the center point of your neckline. It helps your collar to sit, you know, pretty, very well. So I'm sewing now from one center point to the other end. You can see me using my pin to demonstrate this. Then I will do the same thing from one center to the other end as well. So any excesses you have, you go ahead and trim it out, okay? yes guys so that's it guys so by the time you're done you can see you have it looking this way you can see this how your color will appear after sewing it you can see this is how it will look yes guys so this is just what i'm going to do now okay so yeah so when i'm done on one side and on the other side i'll just lock up the edges then of course i'll show you how this looks and here guys i've gone ahead to fix it you can see i've joined my collar i've also cleaned up the edges you can see this is looking all good like we're almost done here guys yes guys so um the next thing now to do now will be to flip it to the wrong side okay flip it to the wrong side make sure it's well aligned then i'll be sewing the sides take it from the armhole all the way to the length of the top then after that you fold the hem line at the end of the top and that's it guys believe it or not this maxi kimono is ready like we are good to go here so the next thing of course to do afterwards to give this a very very good press thank you so much guys we've come to the end of today's tutorial if you find this helpful please don't forget to give me a very very big like and don't forget to subscribe if you've not done that as well thank you so much guys see you on the next video have a wonderful day